I'm here with Ripon College women's soccer coach Sam Strader. Today is uh, team won 1-0 over St. Norbert to stay in contention for the MWC tournament. Um, Sam, can you just uh, talk a little bit about your team's performance today, um, especially uh, in the elements here uh, with rain coming down all day? Oh man, you know, I, I think for me, and uh, uh, really a team performance, you know, it's, it's late in the season, people are hurt, people are beat up, you know, Brandy's all taped together, Toddy took an injury, or, you know, our, our second leading scorer in the first half, um, we had to play as a team, you know, we had to come out and deal with the elements and deal with the muck and the crap, and you knew it was going to be a game that a grinding defensive effort was going to take care of business, and we're a team that's been ultra focused on our defensive shape and training, how to defend as a, as a unit all year long. And today, it, it really showed. I mean, they even the shots they took were weren't ever dangerous, and and that that's for us. You know, that's the goal is to limit them to bad chances instead of good ones. And it, and it showed out. You know, we had awesome individual performances. Our center backs, Katie and Chelsea, uh, in terms of how they managed the game as a, as a defensive unit. Our goalkeeper, Sydney Blodgett, I think. Uh, Earned the career record for shutouts in a season tonight. Uh, her, her third third straight, I think, second straight, or, or third in, in two weeks. Um, who has really been playing outstanding, coming out strong at the end of the year. And I just, I think, um, you know, it was it was an absolutely a team effort, and it comes down to tactics and how we approach the game. But but when you have you know your individual players showing up and doing their jobs in a big way uh, within this within the system, you know, you see you get a result like that. And it's big time, and it's and for us, it's 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 close to historic. If we go beat Carroll, that's our first tournament uh, in school history and that's something we've been building for and talking about since I got here so you mentioned one game left in the regular season um, at Carroll on Sunday 11 o'clock um, what can fans expect from that game well you know it's interesting I think Carroll's actually a fantastic team you know when you look at them individually talent wise you know things haven't gone their way this year they had a couple of strange results but they've also gone and, and beat and been competitive with the top teams in our league so how how you know and, and they've been competitive with top teams in our region so how um, how they ended up outside of the picture for the tournament, I don't know, but uh, but they are not, uh, it's not a gimme by any means. Certainly our back is against the wall in terms of, you know, it's on the line, we're fighting for our lives and going to win that game, so we're going to go do that. You know, what what to expect from them? I think a bunch of girls who are probably pissed off who are ready to go in battle, so it should be a fist fight 11 on the, 11 a.m. on a Sunday morning. You don't usually see fist fights then, but you will uh, this Sunday in Waukesha, that's for sure.